Hey everyone, just saw the documentary Beyond Utopia and wanted to let you know what I thought. Sorry about the beard. Anyway, Beyond Utopia is about North Koreans escaping their country for a better life, and there's a South Korean pastor named Pastor Kim who's fully determined on getting them out safely. It's harrowing, riveting, and very suspenseful. The last 30 minutes might be the most emotional I've gotten in a theater this year. And it's never exploitive, it doesn't rip your heart out, it just allows us a peek into these people's journeys. I've watched documentaries, listened to podcasts, and read books about North Korean defectors. I didn't think this movie could surprise me, but it did. The amount of footage is incredible. It's a miracle this movie exists at all. North Korea is the Truman Show, where everybody is Truman, and instead of living in the suburbs, it's rampant famine, poverty, and concentration camps. It's the stuff of sci-fi stories, World War II movies, and people kidnapped in abusers' basements all rolled into one, except the abuser is a dictator and the victim is a whole starving, brainwashed country. The movie mostly follows two stories about the lengths people go through to gain their freedom. One is a mother who defected about a decade ago and is doing everything she can to get her 17-year-old son out of the country. The other is a family of five that traffickers have no use for. The oldest is an 80-year-old grandmother, and the youngest is about six years old. I have a kid about that age. Parents, it hits hard. But it's actually the other story about the son and mother that hits harder in that way, since they're trying to be reunited and not just escaping. It's rough, but again, so important. For the family of five, we watch them struggle through it all. Traveling 3,000 miles, sneaking across country borders and vans, slipping through jungles, going up steep mountains and crossing rivers. And it's not all dire. We see them hit their checkpoints, like at homes and hotels, and even get their reactions to first world amenities. At one place, they're in a living room, and the grandmother says, I thought that was a chalkboard. The father says, I think it's a television. It's wild stuff. Back home, they have no running water, no electricity. Check out this satellite photo of North Korea at night. You can see Seoul, South Korea, shining bright, and just north of that is North Korea. Nothing. Total darkness. So this new place this family is at is paradise to them. And yet we see the youngest crying because she believes she's doing something bad. It's really something else to see. I recommend everyone go see Beyond Utopia. Hopefully you have a chance to find it somewhere. Like I said, it's important, it's powerful, and like North Korea, needs a lot more light on it. Thanks for watching, and have a good night.